Yo, what's going on guys? We are back again with a new video. And yes, we have a new device in the building, the Galaxy Z Flip 4. And we're gonna be taking a look at the official Samsung silicone case for the Flip 4. So let's check it out. Taking a look at the packaging, silicone cover with strap, Galaxy Z Flip 4. You get a picture of the case on the front. I did get the black color with the green strap, Samsung branding at the bottom. On the back, not really much to talk about. So we'll pop the case out of the box here and see what we get. On the top, you're gonna get a piece of wax paper, just protects it from dust and lint, stuff like that. And then on the bottom, you are going to get an instruction manual. This is gonna show you how to install it correctly on your phone. We're not gonna need that, obviously, because I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So we'll pop it off the cardboard here. Now this is going to be a two-part style case. So you're gonna have your top, you're gonna have your bottom. Everything is going to be connected with this strap here. It goes from the outside, underneath here, onto the top part. If you're not feeling the strap, you don't like it, you can pop it out of here. It's almost like a little buckle thing there. You can pop it right out. I leave it on there, but if you don't like it, you can pop it off. So taking a look at the back, you get that silicone material, soft to the touch. You get that strap, nice cloth strap. It definitely feels durable. It says flip on it. And then on the bottom here, it does have a little metal attachment. So that's to help it to stop you know, from going through here and pulling through the actual case itself. Um, but it also, you can use it to attach to, you know, like your belt or something like that. I personally wouldn't. I don't trust that. I feel like the phone is just going to kind of flip open even halfway and just fall. So I definitely won't be doing it. But if you want to, rock out. On the inside here, now normally silicone cases do have that felt lining. This one is just a hard plastic lining in there. And then, like I said, you get that strap buckle. Doesn't get in the way of anything or make the uh, case protrude at all. And then you get your adhesive strips or friction strips. So that's the inside. Let me grab the phone here and I'll show you how to install it. Now, when you do get this case, the first thing that you're going to want to do, because these adhesive strips are not exposed right away, there is a little piece of plastic on them. You're going to want to peel that off of the top and the bottom. So just make sure you do that when you get the case so it doesn't go sliding around on you. And when I install this, I kind of just hold it together and install it just like any other foam. I pop the top corners in and then the bottom corners and you will be left with a little gap. Just kind of push everything together and you're good to go. You'll know when the sides touch, everything's good. So taking a look at the back, you get the silicone with the strap there. As far as the protection with the camera and the front screen, everything's recessed so you're good to go. On the top as well as the bottom, you get all of your cutouts, the power slash fingerprint sensor, wide open. You're not gonna have any issues with it. The volume up and down, nice and clicky. And then on the inside here, you're not really gonna get any type of screen protection. There's no real lip to talk about. So if you you know, kind of face it down, just set it down, you'll be good. But if it falls, you'll probably be in a world of trouble. As far as how does it fit on the phone, the top right corner, it does peel off, but it does take a little bit of pressure. Now the reason that happens obviously is because you have a cutout right here. So it can pop off, just kind of keep an eye on it. You know, if it slides in and out of your pocket, it may pop off. I personally have not had any issues with it popping on and off by itself. So I think you'll be all right. The other corner, same thing. It takes a little bit of pressure to slide off, but it does slide. On the bottom here, it's gonna be a different story. Trying to pop this off. I mean, you need, yeah, you need a decent amount of force. So much force to pop this off. I kind of feel uncomfortable pressing into the screen and kind of bending it every which way. So these two bottom corners here are fine. You're not gonna have any issues with that. On the inside with these corners, obviously this one with the cutout's gonna pop off a little bit easier. But I mean, man, personally, I haven't had any issues. Like my corners have not, you know, popped off or anything like that unexpectedly. Everything's been intact. This case has been great to me so far. I've been kind of running it on and off with a few other cases, including the Samsung leather case, which I will be doing a video on shortly. Um, so closing this, strap on the back, it says flip. On the top here, you are going to get some hinge protection. About 75% of it is covered by this. Now it's not a crazy amount of protection, but at least it offers you something. So not only does it give you hinge protection, it has some, some function to it. And then, what it's made for, you can put your fingers through here, basically use it like a pop socket or a grip of some sorts. Um, I, I like that, I like that little feature there. So 
Yeah, man, I really like this case. It is a solid case. Obviously, Samsung, every year they come out with their new devices. Their cases are always A1, in my opinion. I love their silicone. I really love the leather case. I'll have that on the channel soon. Um, if you guys are interested in this one, it does come in a few different colors, the actual case as well as the strap. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll leave links down below for everything. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button and don't forget to turn on that bell so you never miss a video. I'll catch you on the next one. Later.